What's up guys, my partnership has finally begun. I have now joined up with Gaming Goat. So buy their supplements, apparel, stickers, shaker cups with the code WOLZARD to get 10% off your purchase. And always remember, WOLZARD was always the GOAT. Enjoy the video. So what is up guys, welcome to some tips and tricks with the Pumpkin Master. I am your host, <laughs> Pumpkin Master. I'm your host, Wolf Thunder Ranger. Today we'll be tackling the Pumpkin Wrapper in this video to show you how good he is. 10 times better than Lunar Wolf, so I hope you saved your wallets for a character. So as you all saw from the Ultimate Comeback, Pumpkin Rapper is an actual good character. The threes and fours definitely do him justice in certain combo situations. Knowing he has stun in one of those uh, in those slots is actually good enough. Pumpkin with that vine attack with the stealing HP is so clutch worthy you don't understand. It stops the poke damage. It's legit if you poke him it's not going to matter. That's what I love about Pumpkin Rapper. He stops the poking. Like, if your opponent's a poker, guess what? You're going to be able to get out of that. You'll be able to get a couple of your HP back. And getting a couple is better than nothing. And if you did the attack twice, guess what? You're getting more energy back. Yeah, kind of assist spam here because, A, my freaking moves weren't combo worthy and I couldn't get my Vine Whiplash in. I was actually trying to save Vine Whiplash just in case he tried to breaker me. That's why I'm using up a little bit of my strike technique. But we got Gemma in this build. As you saw on my stream, I'm not, I am not. was using mostly Udano and Tommy, and that's like the go-to unit for most of these games. Alright, so I'm about to die again. So let's see if Punkin' Rapper can make another amazing comeback. Ooh, you think I can't read? You think I'm a scrub? Get that crap out of here. Know who the OG is, buddy. Learn who the OG of Legacy War is. It might help you. So he thought he was going to get that. Obviously, I was watching out for that. I wanted to waste my shield in a way, so I was waiting for him to strike in a way. I mean, if he used his breaker just a tiny bit faster, he would have been sad. But he was still stuck mid-animation, so I went for game. And that's why we use three cost assists for this guy. So you automatically go for hits for free, and that's that. Giving him a breaker assist, obviously you got to range it out to threes, pretty much. That's what gives him the highest expectation of combos. But you could use it with any type of assist, really. Pumpkin Wrapper works really well with a good couple of the assists in the game. Especially that his breaker gives a good pop-up. So obviously, we do tackle V2 in this, and that is another strong build. For this character. So we shoot him, we vine whip him, and then we tommy him. Very bad idea, but he didn't have a shield, so in the end it was a good idea. So we're looking out for those breakers. I dashed into it for the last shot. Breaker, breaker. I do like that projectiles are now good when close range. They did something right at NY Studios for once. That's the beauty of Pumpkin Rapper. He is looking out for all that nonsense. Block, easy, and then we do vine slash. It is so good to have a character that can cover his range. Legit Pumpkin Rapper has all that. It's legit. He legit Pumpkin Rapper can't miss a beat. Get it? Yeah, me too. But that's what makes him a beautiful rapper from the Clapper. Beating Centurion with a rapper. Seriously. That's what it's like. And Explosions by Michael Bay. You thought you can hit, but that's the trick. Pumpkin Rapper's here because you're, you're a little weird. <laughs> I want to see if he raps. All right, that was like a that was like a quick rap, but that is the beauty of Pumpkin Rapper. He has so many things going for him. It's crazy that NY released this character actually having an amazing passive skill, better than speed boosting, because HP steal is like ten times better in this game, especially due to poke damage. Like you can get out of so many of those match situations where you don't have to worry about the poke anymore as long as that breaker goes through. That's why I like Pumpkin Rapper. He has his options open. So in this build, we do have V2. V2 gives you the pop-up after Trick or Treat, so at least you can continue a three-cost combo. You try to make utilize this Pumpkin Wrapper's EP a lot with this with the three costs. That's what it's all about. So we go for the vines. We go for the vines. We wait for him to land a bit, and then we stun him for free. Oh, my God. This character's so ridiculous. I, I can't right now. Make the monster strong, they said. Dang. Whipped it. Whipped him good. Whip it. Whip it good. But, yeah, no, Pumpkin Rapper was legit an amazing release. I can't stress that enough. I thought they were just going to just make a monster and make it not have anything unique to it. But apparently Pumpkin Rapper is actually the, one of the most unique epics we've had in a while since Sinako. The passive skill is just really sets it. I mean, stealing HP is so good in this game. You don't understand. Haha, <laughs> Tommy works for me now, Rita. So go eat a pita. I definitely like where he's at, though. For this character to do the things he does is, like, amazing enough. 
to make him pretty high on the epic tier list too. He does actually put a dent in the tier list along with Tori, so that tier list will have to be rewritten. But Punk and Rapper definitely enters the top ten of epics to, in Legacy Wars now, along with Tori, because Tori's actually pretty good too for her two cost attacks and a couple of her combo attacks. That's pretty good on speed. So we're fighting Cami here, fifty six thousand HP, pretty good, right? So we get the nice V2 assist. I did not expect that to actually fully work. I thought he was going to bounce. So I screwed that up by wasting too much energy. So V2, V2, V2. I kind of wanted to wait here. There we go. Sometimes it's good to time that just right. And once Pumpkin Rapper crits, like, the damage is crazy. He's, like, one of the most, like, badass-looking villains we have in this game now. Very fun to use. Not even as Not even OP broken. It's, like, just... It's like a good balance to, like, the meta. Like, you could definitely climb ladder with this, especially with lifesteal. In this match, I'm kind of upset that I couldn't get the last hit in. But he legit crit so hard, and then he hurt me again. And then I try to whip him before he can punch me, but her punches are too fast. Damn you, Cammy. You look like a lammy. Go back to Street Fighter. I can't rap. So another good thing about Rapper is, I mean, he does his own raps. That's why I don't rap for him. He raps for you. I can't rap for crap, and that's a fact. I'm gonna use my rap vine whip, and that's the quip. And that's equipped. Why not? So we're fighting Shadow Ranger here. We're gonna see what he's about. Okay, so we're starting off with Cat Assist. Now I'm not. I, I'm okay with this because Punk and Rapper can reach certain ranges. The fact that he just missed that, which means I was gonna hit him, which would have been hilarious. Is what makes Pumpkin Rapper good. I mean, it definitely destroys Shadow Ranger's utility from all his, like, long-range attacks. Like, legit, all of his attacks are long-range. That's what makes him amazing. <laughs> Come on, doggy. Uh, that's a, uh, Mr. Kruger. Make sure you don't take a duker. God, rapping's hard. Anyways, yeah, Pumpkin Rapper's just too good to be true. Like, I can't believe this character exists in Legacy Wars now. Wow, back-to-back -back crits? That's kind of stupid. But seriously, like, what the hell? This character just has all the options necessary to beat his opponent out. Definitely, if you max this character out, he is definitely worth the ladder grind. All of his moves are pretty high, and that 3 cost is doing good amount of damage just at 5? Are you kidding? That's crazy. It shouldn't even be doing that, period. So we bomb him. Bam, bam. He thought he had me. And then we whip him. Because you can, because Tommy sets up Pumpkin Rapper so perfect, it's like crazy. Mighty Morphin always sets up Mighty Morphin. Nope! Explosions! He thought. Welcome to my rap, Jack. And that's a fact. So obviously we get to like, possibly one of the best builds for him since it is a double strike build. Udana and Tommy. Udana gets you a good freeze tech once you bounce the opponent up. So you have enough time to combo more of your threes into his whips and stuff. That's what makes it a great character nonetheless. Definitely gets by a Ranger Slayer's nonsense as well. As you'll see in this match. Yeah, Pumpkin Rapper just want, was just one of those characters that, you know... It, it was just interesting, because look at that rage. Like, it, it's ridiculous. It legit makes up for everything Enway has made so far. Yeah, I could have done that a lot faster. Kick. But it doesn't it's just stray from the fact that this character is better than the legendary Cam, and this character is actually better than the legendary character Tori. I mean, look at that. Like, legit Pumpkin Rapper knocked Ranger Slayer out of the sky. Out of the sky, people. Keep that in mind. This is an epic who knocked this character's freaking air game all out of extinction. It's crazy. It's like the perfect counter to Ranger Slayer. Who would have thought Pumpkin Rapper would be a counter pick for this? It is so funny. I actually didn't think that, believe it or not, I did not think that arrow would hit me. I just like it when they keep doing... That's like a free hit guaranteed with Pumpkin Rapper. That's what I love about the character. It's just too free. There we go. Launched it. And that's, again, one of the best breakers I've loved. That's probably like one of my favorite breakers because the range. So I try to fake it, try to bait it. And then I try to use my breaker, th thinking he would fall for it. Yeah, since he took too long to use his breaker, he definitely screwed up. And then my favorite part again... Oh, he tried to hit me with that nonsense. Oh, I don't know if he's trying to run the clock out. Oh, boy. I gotta, like, I gotta clinch it. I gotta clinch it. There we go. Bam, bam! There we go! Good game. Definitely a freaking strong epic. 
I mean, that just comes to, like, the conclusion. I mean, I guess every time they work on a Mighty Morphin character, they somehow make them look very good compared to the rest. It's just awkward that this is a Mighty Morphin monster, mind you, and it has one of the best passives in this game so far. Because healing is so freaking useful in fighting games. If you can heal a couple of your HP, that legit brings you back into the game. I've had a couple situations where I almost died from poke damage, but thanks to the breaker giving me HP, I was able to avoid I was able to avoid a scary death, and that's what makes Pumpkin Rapper so good. I mean, I can't even I, I really can't express how good that this character is. So this guy's playing double blocks, and if you're a new viewer, please do not play double blocks. It's not safe. You're not scared. If you're scared, then we know. Then it's all tricks. Look at that. Then you just become susceptible to freaking freaking those like. Yes, no one will go full idiot on you, but are you going to keep locking? Are you scared? That's the thing. One thing you got to keep in mind. Perfect. With the freeze tech, he's frozen. You get a couple of your energy back so he can't, like, rush you. See, I could have used a shield there if I wanted to, but it looks like he's doing too many cancels, not enough lunar wolfing. So we're going to kick him in the chest and call it quits for that guy. And we head to our last round. Uh, two villains, which is great. But, yeah, rapper... He, he's definitely a snapper. Beats the enemy every day. Doing it his way. His rap game is strong. And his whips are long. If you think you can stop him... Uh, fudge. I know there's definitely words with him. Rhymable hymns. Yeah, for some reason I was quick on Astronoma there. I don't know what the hell that was. Ah, uh, him. If you think you can stop him, then don't try playing him. There we go. As we come to the end of this video. God, it's so hard to rap on, like, spots. I see why rappers, like, rap it first, then they write it down when they have their lyrics prepped. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know why you think that would work, sir. That was possibly one of the worst mistakes. So I went full idiot because I could because he's not running any shield assist. I'm not like too worried because I have a little bit more capitalizing attacks. So he went for the breaker. It's a good attack. Explosions. That's like one of the best explosions so far. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That is your pumpkin wrapper tips and tricks. I hope you learned about the Ricks. Follow me on YouTube. That's for show. Because you know that's all. Because you know that's how I glow. A wolf, thunder ranger. I'm signing off. Oh crap! Here comes the cop. <laughs>